Hello and welcome back to Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. When we last left off, we were doing totally things that happened in the movie, which is like, you know, exploring um, the various... Uh, Caves of Tatooine. And yeah, we remembered these monsters from the movie, right? Right? You aren't saying that JVC is taking a bit of liberty with the um, franchise, are you? Uh. there. That was impressive. Yeah, full health. Come on. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. Neither do you. My goodness, those guys, uh... They hit hard. Luckily, they're pretty stupid. Unless they know how to use... ranged attacks. Okay, come on. Okay, let's save here. I hope he's not healing while he's going off screen. I think he's healing when he's going off screen. Yeah. Not exactly sure how to, uh, Dodge this guy. That's how you dodge that guy. Okay. How about I do that without being stupid? Thank you. And immediately hit by <laughs> a turret. Okay. Mm. 
Well, let's try the sand crawler. My scanners show that R2-D2 is located in this sand crawler. I thought I bought you guys from Jawas. You're saying they stole them back? Cheeky bastards. Okay. Yeah, that's a, uh, a lip. And those things, they drag you up like a purpose. Okay. And that's a, uh, really easy way to get out. Okay, let's just start saving. Okay, that's cool. How totally wrong place for me to be. Totally right place for me to be. It looks like it's supposed to be one of those lifts. There we go. More life up up there. Ah, you cheeky, cheeky bastard. didn't take in uh, consideration my ability to cheat. <laughs> okay, come on R2. No droid is worth this much trouble. That is worth the trouble, though. So you can carry seven lives in total.
plus two more. But the other two are a bit special. Goodness. I'm actually wondering if there's anything worth it over here. No. That's not good. I'll take my lumps. See what's over here then. Spikes. Spikes and doom is what's over here. Great. Take it. Gotcha. Well. Gotcha. So, R2-D2 says that he is the property of a General Kenobi. Well, that makes sense. Guess it's time to find this General Kenobi. I think we already went through this cave, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna pause it, um, check out the map one second. Okay, I think I got this. Let's see, I just gotta go. More and more. Oh. This way. 
hopefully. I think maybe Obi-Wan just doesn't show up unless you're rescued R2 or something. Because we've been in this cave. Yeah, there's nothing that direction. But there's a big life up over here. And yeah, well, the exit was here. We didn't go this way. There's one more of you guys. Hey, Obi. I have something here for you. Your father wanted you to have this when you were old enough. Thank you, Elegance. It's your father's lightsaber. Nice! Sir, R2-D2 says that he is the property of a General Kenobi don't seem to re ever remember ever owning a droid. Very interesting. It's not like I had three movies where I was actually pretty close uh, compatriots with this droid. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. You must learn the ways of the Force if you are to come with me to Alderaan. Wait, never said I was going to Alderaan? But, I guess I am. Now, if we hit... Yeah, I guess here, no starter select, it's all the same. So, I think at this point, we're heading to Moss Isley Cantina. bouncing doesn't seem to do too much bad things, although everything else seems to be doing bad things. Hit up, and we can head into the cantina. Okay, um, these guys are kind of difficult. Ah, and here, yeah, what I was showing off, um, if you hit select, you access to this area, where I'm currently 14% complete. I can choose between my blaster or my lightsaber, which I swing like a madman. <laughs> anyway, 
so, um, when we come back, uh, yeah, I guess we're heading into Moss Eisley. I'll be back in the cantina next time. See ya then. <laughs>